Hey, hey, welcome to the review of Oppenheimer. So finally, I watched it in the theaters and I'm going to say it was a different immersive experience that has been brought into my life because of Tenet. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. Tenet is the worst movie by Christopher Nolan till date. Now, coming over to what I really liked about Oppenheimer that I should really recommend you back to going to the theaters and watch this on a big screen. And uh, another thing, I don't have an IMAX. Yeah, I don't know. My state is not doing any wonders. Now, let's talk about the positives and the negatives of Oppenheimer. Hello, welcome to Movie Fluid. This is Prithvi. And let's talk about what I like and I didn't like about this movie. So, as I have said, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer is basically a gripping tale of genius, strife and atomic bomb. Christopher Nolan is known for his mind-bending movies, also delivers yet again with his masterpiece, yet intelligent and gripping biopic. Now let's talk about it. So who is Robert J. Oppenheimer? He basically never got a Nobel Prize but he stands as one of the most consequential physicists in our history. His impact on the world far surpasses one of many Nobel laureates. Now, guiding the brightest physicist of the 20th century, he spearheaded the creation of the atomic bomb, forever altering the trajectory of the human history. Now, Christopher Nolan, knowing for his mind-bending movies, delivers yet again with his intelligent and gripping biopic on Oppenheimer. At its core, it's a story of urgency and responsibility. The movie explores how Oppenheimer led the charge in the development of the atomic bomb during the World War II. Now, the stakes were high as the United States raced against Germany to create this world-altering weapon. Now, let's talk about Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy, in what can he be described as a career-defining performance, embodies the energetic Oppenheimer. His portrayal is magnetic, it brings depth and complexity to this history figure. Now, it doesn't matter or it's basically no wonder that he's already been on the route for surefire Oscar contender. Now, the supporting cast is nothing short of exceptional with Robert Downey Jr.'s return to the top-notch acting and Florence Pugh's basically mesmerizing presence adding to the film's brilliance. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna say, but Emily Blunt was a little bit irritating, but I absolutely loved when Rami Malek entered and also kudos to Matt Damon for such an amazing performance. And I should beg to Oscars to just give Robert Downey Jr. an Oscar. Finally, he, he just deserves an Oscar for this movie. The chemistry among the cast is basically undeniable, enhancing the storytelling experience. Nolan's storytelling style is basically unapologetically relentless, jumping back and forth through time, immersing to the viewer in Oppenheimer's life and the creation of the bomb. It might require some quick mental gymnastics but the visual cues might guide you through the non-linear journey. Now the film's cinematography is stark and spar, basically it reflects the seriousness of the subject matter but it also bursts into the moments of vibrant color especially when Flo Pugh's characters are basically involved in this movie. Now the score heightens the tension, it creates an anxious and oppressive atmosphere that matches the relentless pacing of the movie. Despite this 3-hour runtime, Oppenheimer is a captivating experience that flies by, leaving you wanting more. Nolan's is a genius, come on. Now, his genius, the element of Nolan being a genius basically lies in the ability to make more complex stories accessible and thoroughly engaging. This film is not about making an atomic bomb, it basically delves in deep into the moral conflicts and the human spirit behind the world-changing adventure. Now, the narrative structure combined with Murphy's mesmerizing performance will keep you on the edge of the seat, eager to uncover the hidden truths and continuities that shapes Oppenheimer's life. Oppenheimer is basically a testament to the power of cinema, a thought-provoking and intense watch that will make you believe that it intellectually basically is stimulated and it's moved. It's a rare gem in filmmaking, proving once again that Nolan as a true master of his art. Okay, I really hope that y'all liked my review. Okay, till then, bye, like, share and subscribe and cheers. And yeah.